Halftone screen printing in dot game with Simple Steps Smart Rip 4.0. And this is another new feature in our new Smart Rip 4.0 update. We now have easy to use simple dot gain settings that you can work with. First of all, let's take a look at what dot gain is. Dot gain occurs when you take your halftone dots and you take a squeegee and you press with pressure on that squeegee and push that ink through the screen onto the substrate and then the dot expands or becomes bigger. The result is, is that your color or your continuous tone simulation through halftone looks darker. The tones change. In other words, if we take a look at Marilyn here, we can see that this one looks darker. It's got a little bit of dot gain to it. To simulate that, I've got a couple of grayscale images set up here. And we'll go ahead and duplicate this one. I'll go ahead and open my Simple Steps 4 here. Come over here to the Half Tone Trapping and Choking tab. Now this is a tab for just doing manual, or not manual, but custom half toning and, and trapping and choking of your half tone dots. But go ahead and take a look at this. You know, if I take this copy of this grayscale here and I begin to spread the dots, it'll kind of simulate what happens with dot gain. And you can see that as the dots are spread or expand, the image becomes darker. And what happens is, is the dots begin to fill in the holes here and they become bigger so that our representation of continuous tone with half tone simulation becomes off or the tone's not quite accurate. But we can make adjustments for that with dot gain. We have those settings here under our tabs and it goes down right through 2.5 and we've got the same thing here under our separations tab before we convert to half tones that we can set that up. Now we've included a test file for this with simple seps and you'll find that in your C drive advanced t-shirt simple seps 4 folder here's the dot gain test file and you can open that up and you can take that here and go to your half tones page don't set any dot gain for this it's all preset here then just whatever type of output you're going to use if it's all black select convert to half tones we're talking about basic dot gain settings and adjustments and analysis here. We're not getting into deep scientific analysis. You can do that also. But the way we've looked at and done our research and development and screen printing, it really, you know, the way the ink reacts on a t-shirt is entirely different than the way it reacts on a piece of paper. But you could take this out and print about 10 of these. Look at them and kind of average out which one's going to be best for your shop, which one of these settings, 1.25 all the way up through 2.50. And then when you do your separations, I'll hit Control Z here. You know, you can just eyeball here against the original. Now, of course, if you want to, there's a lot of information online. We're not going to get into that here, but you can do some really deep research on this. I'm going to go back here, and what we can do is once we've got that dialed in, come back to Windows here. I'm going to go to Untitled. I'm going to go ahead and select this. I'll go to Color Management. We'll see what this does. Create Selection Palette. I'm going to go ahead and convert everything here real quick white one click conversion okay and then just to do a quick separation to show you how this will work you'll notice that when I go through here to my half tones for my separations I can come up here to dot gain let's say I came in right about 2.0 I could go ahead and set that up now I'm going to do an interlock here and we saw in some of our other videos that our interlocks were deadly you know dead on just locked right in I'll go with all black and I'll click on generate separations this will auto apply that dot gain curve to your separations while you're processing them in half tones. So now with Simple Step Smart Rip 4.0, we now have dot gain settings that are very easy to use that you can apply to your color separations. One of the things you'll want to do is if you're running dot gain for your separations, but you want to send your client a half tone preview, don't send them the half tone preview with the dot gain built into it. Your color tones will be a little bit lighter. They won't be accurate according to the half tone preview that you're sending to your client. Now once that's finished processing, because you had dot gain settings on, you'll notice here that Simple Steps gives you a warning, basically to say, you know, don't send this halftone comp to a client, it's not accurate. But it, you'll notice that if we zoom in here, that our dots are actually smaller now. They're compensated. They've been dot gain compensated. And 2.0 is quite a bit of dot gain, but sometimes in screen printing you'll find that. So when those dots expand, they'll actually meet and be correct. Now the fact is, is that interlocking even without dot gain also helps control dot, is quite effective actually in controlling dot gain. But you want to be aware of that and being able to run your test if you want to with your dot gain file. 
that's available. And once again, that's on your C drive here. In your local C drive, advanced t-shirt, simple steps for folder, you'll find the dot game test. And you can go ahead and convert that to halftone and do some test prints and then kind of dial in your dot game for your halftone screen printing separations working with Simple Steps Raster 4.0. So we'll go ahead and wrap here regarding dot gain and we'll continue in our next session.